My name is Dennis Johnson, and this exercise is part of a fundamental series, and it's entitled Irish Spring Asian. Uh, on my channel, you'll already see the Irish version, the African version, and this is the Asian version. I'm not sure why it's Asian. It doesn't sound Asian to me, but if you look on my channel, go to High School uh, Basics, Click on the playlist and slide over and find the actual uh, music for this. And I've written a snare tenor bass and front ensemble part. And that one actually does sound Asian. So it's, uh, it's got a sort of a, an Asian feel to it or a flavor. So you can play along with that uh, with a full ensemble. But anyway, I'm uh, going to play this, going to put the music up. And this is at 144. Here we go. Okay, so now I will take the music down so you can see what the sticks are doing. Here we go. All right, so that's Irish Spring Asian. Uh, this one's a little bit more difficult, uh, multiple hand-wise, than the other two versions, in my opinion. Uh, the last measure is not that difficult. Uh, the, little, the last line, because you've got threes and then doubles, and then threes starting with the left and doubles again. So you've got... Okay. So not quite as difficult as the African version with the fours on the end. But uh, anyway, uh, from what I understand, all three of these versions of Irish Spring can be played simultaneously. So that would be a cool effect. So find two other people and have them play the different versions along with you and uh, see how all the eighth notes line up. But uh, basically all three of these versions, the underlying theme... Well, the underlying current is this. Everything, all of the notes, all of the rest must line up with the 12-8 feel of the triplets. Okay? So once everything lines up, it's going to sound good. That's what we want. So... Stay tuned for the next basic exercise and keep on drumming. 